Since we were 13, I've been scared that I was going to lose you. I can't let you go without telling you how I feel. I love you. What Dyson did is a crime. He's going to go to jail. He's a criminal. But hey. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Sam, we are not criminals. Come on. I hate to break it to you, but we are, you know, we're much more insignificant. We're guys who order pizza at a bar. I'm in a men's club that drinks. May or may not have a patriot problem. <laughs> you are considered to be the world's foremost expert in parapsychology, a field of research I will admit I was unfamiliar with until quite recently. Well, most are. Mm. There's something I have been dying to ask, no pun intended, since we arranged this interview. Well, what is it? Well, do you believe in ghosts? Well, the answer to that question is actually quite complicated. How so? Do you believe that ghosts are real? To me, he is real. I think I understand now. Good. However... Oh, God, what now? Fucking <laughs> Hold down the fork, my sweet. Braz! Where the fuck have you been? Go in the bedroom, okay? <laughs> shut the fuck up! Just shut the fuck up and get in the bedroom! Fuck. Just calm down. When you went away, she got real bad, okay? She. She needed help, man. Okay, she needed some comfort. She needed a shoulder. She was mad at you, bras. <sighs> Fuck, man. Listen, she stayed in my house a couple nights and, and, and things cut out of hand. I'm not gonna deny it. Alas, tis why I need one of these baby Bjorn thingies. I will happily help you find a baby Bjorn that suits your needs. Oh, baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. Mm, baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn. I feel like we're in love. Mark, have you followed me? I don't know what you're talking about, Mrs. Dutchman. What, you feeling guilty or something? What's it gonna take? Not to tell him? I don't know if I can put a price on that. Try. Are you lying to me, Landry? No. You're fired. Fired? You got a hearing problem? You sure that's a good idea? I'm sorry. Well, considering everything I know about you and given your current standing with the U.S. Attorney, are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> now, that's the kind of spirit I like to see in my team. Maybe you're not such a pussy after all. Maybe hope for you yet. Thank you. So you marched steady around the house? Not me, another brother. But you were there? Yes, obviously. And you did nothing. But look, man, it was pretty common. She just blew it up. At any rate, it's hardly fair that I'm, like, in jail let's for Let's not talk it. about fair, okay? No, let's. She's using her cop status to get back at me. Says you. Come on, man. Look, it was like 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, well, maybe not to her. Did she bring charges? There was an administration review. We were told to put an end to the practice. Oh, hard time, huh? Look. Man, okay, I own a bar. I could lose my liquor license over there. One summer, the three of us boys, we built this boat from scratch. Bryce installed the prop, but he was always lazy and it was off balance and kept going in circles, throwing it off course. I think we're off course. We'd worked so hard and Bryce screwed it up. He was always taking shortcuts. But Wyatt, the shrimp, he was focused on the boat. He worked all night on that prop until it was fixed. That was Wyatt. He balanced us 